everyone, I want to do a quick video about uh, my second attempt for uh, the production vouchers and I really want to get the last worthy challenge reward which is 200 ice crystals and uh, I just need to calculate how much I need to spend the uh, normal production vouchers for the points and leave something for Monday. I'm not sure am I gonna do on Monday uh, a lot of points for state because uh, I have to still save up a lot of cards for alpha and uh, for alpha I really want to push quick as possible and it will take a long time in overall so uh, when you want to maximize the point amount you want to have state conflict at least finished 100% and I think I will finish it on Thursday uh, to have double rewards and these points uh, and uh, it will give me possibly nine boxes on Thursday when I finish all this and uh, that's why I know on Monday I don't need to have too much but uh, this week there is a great uh, reward for using the uh, the production vouchers so let's start spinning and see how successful or what kind of loser I am and I can't get what I need. Uh, there's a video before this, uh, same with the title, my unsuccessful spin of production vouchers. So this is the second one, second attempt. And uh, hopefully I get, uh, I get uh, zombie damage, which I need the 50 caliber gun mark. Uh, then I need uh, turbine or or uh, the HP for zombies, which is steam engine. Both of them they will be doing good HP boosts on the fence, but the turbine gives way more than actual the steam engine, and then obviously large medical crates. Uh, which gives the troop defense damage. So let's see what we get this time. I want to do all the uh, basic first and then check the points, how much I need to do for uh, till I finish and get the actual uh, for the reward number 10. As you can see, I don't have any golden uh, golden item for the giant weaponry. Uh, it's always just one normal equipped, so it's still okay because I can split it and get other uh, necessary materials for level up 10, level 20, level 30, level 40. We'll see, and... Nano materials are very hard to get as well. So, this one bonus points are when I get uh, like a puzzle piece like this, which I when I reach twenty two, if I am right, and I can collect a piece, convert it, and oh, this was lucky spin. I got quite a lot. Good items. This is what I need, just in gold. Turbine fans. Uh, the on 40th level of turbine fan, you get way more bonus uh, for HP. And it works on your giant weapon way better than having actual HP. Okay, 
Let's see what we got here when we finish all this. And that's it. Let's see who, how many points we need to get more. Where's the challenge? So I just need to spin 12 times. Okay. 12 times of advanced. And this is the wrong one. 12 times. Shooter damage. Sadly, not what we want. But we will split it and get something else. Yes, large medical crate. Great news. This is really good item. This is what I wanted to get for my alpha. Happy days. Let's see. Patriot missile, no shooter attack. Patriot missile just needing gold. That would be amazing if we can get one. Engineer shoveling, shovel. Antenna base. Detachable prism tower. Extra troop siege damage, damage in cross state battle. It's good item for attack in cross state battle because uh, your stats not that high because of the permanent buildings. So it's good item as well, but I still wouldn't use it. I would use large medical crate. Oh, another troop damage against back row units. Some people really rate this one. Uh, it's not as... Um, it's a good item to have, but it's not as effective as uh, uh, the normal zombie siege uh, damage. And I like to use the crates and the zombie damage instead of th this troop damage against back row. I might put this on the Zeppelin or S2 uh, and use it for for attacking. Okay, let's see. I think I just need to do one more spin. Again, engineering shovel. And what we got is shooter HP. I'm very lucky today with shooter. I don't know why. Let's see. Did I reach the... Now this one, challenge. And I did all rewards. As you can see. And we can equip Alpha with uh, I need to start leveling him up. I will level up every day. Slowly, slowly, bit by bit. Uh, to raise his levels. You can't do too much because uh, uh, it's just waste of uh, actual. Let's combine and just 10,000. And level up to level 30. As you can see at the moment, the amount what I need to level up up to 30 is not that much. But when it comes to level 80, I need every possible uh, thing. Let me just equip. Large medical equip. And start leveling it up. Let's see how far I can level it up. Up to 20. Level 20, you see how much I need nanomaterials. And now, as you can see, I need a whole 12 orange pulse capacitors for just level 20. 
and I need uh, the metal parts. So to get metal parts, we go equipment storage and just disassemble non golden ones. A quick split, dismantle. You see, we get. Uh, exactly the part what we need for leveling up how much did we need just for level up I need a whole 14 18 18 of the pulse capacitor are we gonna have that much I'm just gonna go here shooter vehicle the equip one we will put in I don't have the choice to save it up which is very strange do I need to go in equipment here and I marked and it's saved up so in case I want to split it it will which one better shooter quick assemble all shooter parts okay and we got the little ones So we're just leaving with the gold. Okay, how much we got? In total, 101. Okay, level it up, and after that, you will see giant weapon attack. 1,600 will add up. And that's it, and that goes straight on his uh, attack and defense, which is amazing. So that's level 20 I wouldn't go further because I have to disassemble and I need to check what I need for the S1 and S2 S1 probably I will raise up faster and then obviously I can't equip at the moment but uh, S2 is very expensive S1 you can evolve very quickly and if you want to equip, go on a zombie, what we got here, zombie defense, zombie attack, nothing what we need, we need this, we can add this one, we can add this one, and obviously patriots, but I suggest the patriot to put in gold. <coughs> Thank you for watching, and see you later.